Hello students, welcome back to another session of Inventory and Risk Management. So in the earlier classes we have discussed about inventory, what is inventory, the types of inventory and how inventory management is important, the scope of inventory management, inventory control, the tools and techniques involved in uh, inventory management and control, all those things have been discussed. So today we will be discussing on a major important topic in inventory management that is the criteria for judging the inventory like uh, what amount of inventory and why, what kind of inventory have to be maintained in the manufacturing firm or in the uh, the firms uh, what kind of inventory like all those uh, all those information regarding judging about the inventory like uh, what should be the level uh, what should be the reorder level what should be the safety stock and what are the criteria for um, by purchasing the inventory and stocking all those things so we'll be discussing on that so as all manufacturers know that maintenance of inventory levels are to, uh, the business is vital for the success of every uh, like inventory and in for the supply chain though the balancing between the supply and demand is very tough to do it is determinable for the firm uh, to have either too much or too low too uh, little product or material that is uh, overstocking or understocking should not should not happen there should be a minimum uh, stock should be maintained that is uh, the par level uh, of inventory should be maintained there should not be more or there should not be less okay it is universally acknowledged that the inventory management is crucial to the operation of any kind of manufacturing company so for that so the for the crucial determination of the inventory there are certain um, uh, ways by which the uh, the judging or the criteria on which the inventory can be maintained so the first one is utilize the real time analytics so utilization of the real time analytics which is the software the real time analytics refers to software and applications that measures the data of your supply chain in the real time meaning that they effectively record changes to the inventory as they occur so uh, which is a software based or application which can be installed in the firm so that uh, whenever the inventory level goes down this uh, software gives you updates about all those things so there is no requirement of any manual kind of uh, maintaining the inventory so the usage of the real-time software and uh, uh, the applications help to maintain a proper uh, proper maintenance of the inventory level and also helps to maintain the data and this is very beneficial to the manufacturing companies because it increases the precision and the real time software provides a timeline record like based on the right time what is happening what is the inventory level what should be the reorder level all those things will be given on uh, on timely basis so this helps the, uh, the different firms to maintain the inventory and this data can be audited by analysts to consider where the productive periods lie in the company's business cycle or what may or may not be the working in terms of the supply level so it also helps uh, the auditors to uh, to make a like to make a wise decision so for second point is do not group the inventory for the analysis purpose so the inventories there are different kinds of inventories and types of inventories so if a firm is ordering different kinds of inventory that inventory should not be grouped together so same like inventories can be grouped together but not all the inventories should be grouped together so different types of inventories if grouped together that will be difficult to maintain the records uh, so uh, so mainly because of that the inventory should not be grouped together categorizing the materials can be beneficial for the organization purpose and but it is uh, important to remind uh, remember that there are a number of factors that can be the basis for how an item can be classified and all the factors should be considered when we differentiate the inventory we should not group it just because of the cost or just because it looks alike or uh, just because it uh, comes from a particular supplier like uh, the the categorization of inventory should be made wisely as such uh, they, that falls into a particular category or a particular criteria and uh, the next way of uh, judging the criteria of selecting the uh, right inventory 
is invest in really invest in relation with the suppliers and retailers yes because the these are the people who supply the inventories there are many people or the intermediaries involved in the supply of these inventories right from the producer the manufacturer then there will be the wholesalers the carrying agents will be there then the distribution agents will be there retailers will be there middlemen will be there there may be many people involved in that so the uh, for the smooth distribution and the smooth flow of this inventory the the purchaser uh, should have a good rapport between the suppliers retailers and the middleman uh, this helps uh, one way in the smooth flow and distribution of the um, inventory and uh, one way the one of the best way to improve this uh, relation is having a good communication from uh, communication between the purchaser and the other members involved in the supply chain next point uh, to be remembered is uh, prevent surplus and stock outs they should not be uh, out of stocking the the stay the in a firm there should not be a stage of out of stock and there should not be a stage of overstocking and understocking because about the the disadvantages of uh, overstocking and understocking have been explained in the earlier classes already we have explained okay so the fifth point to keep in mind is encourage employees to practice time management skills okay one of the reason that the inventory management can be so difficult to the master is because of a large proportion of it relies on time okay timing the time is a difficult thing to be certain of especially when time is to be the definition of a blanket statement like uh, it's like the humans cannot the cannot control the time so but we can plan ahead how how to to manage the time like at what time the inventory have to be purchased um, uh, what should be the minimum reorder level what should be the maximum reorder level what is the lead time when we uh, order something so according to the lead time the ordering uh, have to be uh, the the plan regarding uh, reordering have to be done so a very uh, particular uh, plan have to be made and encourage the employees to maintain this time management and uh, should develop certain skills to improve this time management things because uh, otherwise uh, otherwise what happen the time is very much important in the inventory management uh, otherwise that will result in either overstocking or understocking and which will results in a lot of losses to the firm and the final thing is audit yourself audit yourself all the time okay a good way to increase the likelihood of catching an issue in the inventory management before it fully presents itself in the supply chain is constantly review the inventory levels at different areas of the production this constant reviewing uh, by by yourself uh, if you hold an in a firm then you have to check the inventory on a daily basis you can maintain a software system or you, you can you can go with a manual inventory checkup so these are the way by which the these are the certain criteria which are used to maintain inventory proper inventory management and these are summed up as uh, based on the comparability you should compare uh, about uh, compare uh, what are the uh, like w compare the inventory which will be better which inventory to go with uh, is uh, should the inventory purchasing should be uh, made uh, with the uh, like should we go with uh, the quantity based on the quantity based on the cost based on the efficiency like we should compare uh, the inventory a and inventory b like if we have the option of choosing two inventories between two choosing in, in between two inventories we should uh, go we should uh, compare the inventories in all aspects based on the cat uh, it's uh, certain uh, criteria maybe based on the quality quantity price the cost efficiency the lead time all those things have to be uh, kept in mind and the other is the time the time required uh, for the time required to stock the inventory all those things have to be kept in mind so these are the certain points that you have to keep in mind when you order an inventory and these are the certain criteria for judging inventory like uh, which inventory to purchase and all so i hope these points are clear to you all so by this we conclude this session 
and the major points are audit yourself encourage employees to practice for the time management next is uh, prevent surplus and stock uh, out stock that is understocking and overstocking have to be avoided then invest in relation you should develop a good rapport between the people the intermediaries in the supply chain uh, do not group the inventories and, uh, unless they falls under certain criteria and utilize the real time analytics that is a software usage of the software which will help to manage the time and efficiency so these are the certain points by which the inventory uh, for judging the right inventory can be done so by this we will conclude the session thank you all